hey guys, how's it going? Before anyone says anything, yes, this does look like there's a mustard cap on my head. <laughs> but guess what? It's spooky season and I don't care. I'm gonna be rocking my mustard toque, okay? <laughs> so today we are going to be doing the random color palette challenge. I have done this on my channel before. It's basically where we use this website and it's gonna pick five random colors and we cannot use any other colors for our house. I have already gone ahead and built this home. Fun fact, this was actually supposed to be for a CC only build, but I finished the shell, I did absolutely everything, and then I got to the windows and doors part and remembered that we still do not have that. <laughs> Custom content available to us with the new window update. So here we are with the random color palette challenge. This is my home. It is created already. And then inside, I will show you the layout. It looks way bigger than it is. There's a lot of outdoor space on this build. So we're gonna walk in, have an open concept kitchen, living and dining. We've got our bathroom here. <laughs> and upstairs, we are going to have two bedrooms, probably a little seating area or something along those lines to the outdoor area. We've got this massive massive patio here we've got a pool on the side there's a lot and then upstairs I'm I'm thinking about putting a rooftop patio as well but again it's freaking huge so I don't know <laughs> we will see but first let's go and check out what our random colors are going to be so this here is the website that I'm talking about it's like randomcolor.com and you click and it'll show a random color for you so we're gonna disregard this one this was actually the first one so I'm gonna go ahead and click five times and we'll see what our color palette will be. So first is going to be, oh my God, we've got this like vibrant green color. <laughs> we've got another green, oh God. We have this like coral color, yellow. Oh my God, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a task. And like maroon, oh. Millie has like really taken to this camping chair back there. So I'm just gonna leave her back there for a Millie cam for you guys. Anyway, I kind of put the color palette underneath my camera here so you guys will see during this whole build what the color scheme is going to be. I'm nervous about this. Like, look at that color scheme. What the heck is that? The last one we had was so easy. It was so good. It was perfect. But this, I don't know. <laughs> I guess the first thing I'm going to do is flooring and wallpaper. We'll get that out of the way. And then maybe I'll start with like the living room and the kitchen area. Okay, I'm kind of thinking our best option here is going to be to go full tilt with the green. I still have to do the outside as well. And frig, I don't know what color we're going to go with out here. Like all of the options for the exterior are going to be so difficult. Luckily, I can keep my landscaping because we have a lot of green happening here, but I'm gonna, um, God, I don't really know what color we're going to make this. What if I use these two shades of green to kind of like play around with the colors here? I think that might be our best bet. It's kind of just looking like a shadow at this point. It's not really making the biggest difference, which might actually be kind of helpful for us. <laughs> then for the flooring around, oh God, maybe we'll go with like a yellow for the flooring. I don't even know. Or an orange, like that coral color. It's like almost orange, but not quite. I kind of changed the color of the fences and everything to a yellow. This yellow brick we've got happening. And then up here, I think I'm going to use this green and do like a rooftop garden kind of thing. Downstairs, I'm, I'm going to continue on with my little living room. I think we've got the green and then the lime green accent. So I'm thinking the furniture is going to be the red, coral, and yellow. This is going to be a challenge for sure. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and use my yellow fridge. I think a lot of this is going to be this like yellow color just to make sure that we don't have this home looking like Christmas. I don't want that. We're gonna use a lot of yellow accents. They're gonna be that red and coral color, I think. I <laughs> have changed this color scheme so many times. <laughs> so many times. I'm trying. Once we get it, once we find something that clicks, we're gonna be fine. But until then, this is a struggle. I need like a green chair or a yellow, um, oh boy. Oh, it's gonna be bad, friends. I'm scared, I'm nervous. I don't want it to look like Christmas, but it's really hard when red and green are your only options. That or McDonald's, it's Christmas or McDonald's, take your pick. Honestly, both sound not too bad at the moment, not gonna lie. You know what, maybe the plants can be the greenery. We can do that. I think we could get away with that. This one's even got that coral color. Okay, you know what, we're gonna be all right. I have faith. I have faith, nobody panic yet. Once we figure this out, everything is going to be fine, I promise. 
I'll do a nice end table moment over here. Right down the center, we could probably fit a dining room. So I'm gonna try and get that going right down the middle here. So far, so good. I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme, but hey, this is a challenge, right? Remember? We signed up for this, remember? Okay. <laughs> Take everything I just said and erase it because I don't like the way we were going. You guys are going to see the full process on this build. I have completely changed everything again. Hi, I'm Sydney. Welcome to my channel. We do this a lot here. <laughs> so this color palette is too out there to do a normal family like style house that you would actually live in kind of thing. So we're going artsy with it today. I've put graffiti under there. We've got a nice variety of graffiti as our backsplash. I'm still going to change this area because it's a little too normal for us today. I've got my garage mural. We've got our lighting back here. This is how we're gonna spin it. This is the only way I can figure out how to do this and make it work. Probably gonna change the flooring too. God, I wish I could just have a normal color for my flooring. What about red? Okay, you know what? Let's just flip it. Flip the switch. Everything's changing. God, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could build like a normal person. I can't though. This is what I do here. We pick something and we change it and we just kind of go with what works. I'm sorry. I know it's probably annoying to watch, but but this is the process that I go through on a daily basis. <laughs> I think this is probably why I change style so often too, because like I just get so bored so quick. I'm like over it. Before I even finish the build, I'm like, no, we're done, next. <laughs> we're also pretty much like embracing <laughs> the Christmas at this point. I like Christmas. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a little weird, but you know what? Whatever. It's gonna look cool, okay? I wish I lived here. We definitely have to clutter up this kitchen area. It's looking a little bit sad. So I'm gonna start trying to find maybe some items that we can get away with here. Like that's yellow and green, perfect. This thing is red, embracing the Christmas. Embrace it. Ooh, this kind of matches good. Where can I put this? I do still have to do a living room. I think we're getting somewhere. I need a rug. We're gonna put a rug down under here, I guess. Okay, oh my gosh, I actually kind of like this. It's coming along, it's really weird. Definitely very strange. I think the lighting is making it look kind of cool too. I'm loving the lime green lights that are happening. The living room is gonna be very squished. We also still have to do the bathroom. Maybe I can mount my TV up on this like graffiti here. Let's try and see if that'll look kind of weird. I'm hoping it'll look okay. I don't know, I love the graffiti in the home. Like I would never do it unless I had like a really big house or a garage or something would be kind of cool, but I just feel like it kind of looks cool. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to squish my living room like up here. I don't wanna like block the door completely. Maybe I can put a desk area back there or something, but I don't wanna take up too much of this hallway space either. Oh, my bowling chair is perfect. Yes, okay, I need a, do I need a rug? I have one right there. Maybe this rug is a little big. There we go. Okay, that fixes a lot. <laughs> Let's put a rug here. I don't know what color. I've got yellow and green as my filter right now, Um, but I've changed it like a million times. This house is such a hot mess. I freaking love it. I can't. Look at this disaster. Oh my goodness. It's great. I'm obsessed with it. And then yeah, back here is kind of a perfect area for a desk. I'm thinking we'll kind of just do something like this. We can kind of stick a big light in the back there. Hopefully that'll kind of look cool as well. We are combining so many different styles in this build today. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna turn out good or bad, but we'll find out. We're all along for the ride here, are we not? Oh my god, I have to put this guy outside. He has to go outside. It is the perfect color. It's the perfect season. He's great. We'll have two. I'm gonna tackle the bathroom. We'll do this really quick. This is the only bathroom in the house also, so... Ooh, oh my, wow. Okay, I think we're gonna have to include everything in this one bathroom. So we'll do full everything. We'll do like... Oh my god. <laughs> We'll do like bathtub the whole bit. Ooh, I'm trying in here. I'm really trying. I need something to go on the walls. It's a little bit empty in here. And then hopefully we can go upstairs once we're finished in here. Weirdest location ever for movie posters, but they match the color scheme and they kind of work in here. I'm, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> we're gonna move on from this little room. This is, I guess, our downstairs for now. I wanna keep adding like random plants and stuff probably as we go. But other than that, I think we're ready to move upstairs. 
Maybe we'll just put that guy there for now. Okay, let's go up. So up here we have a hallway and then we're gonna have two bedrooms. I don't know if I'm gonna do a kid's bedroom in this build. I mean, we could, but we're gonna do a master bedroom back here, bedroom and a seating area or something. And we still have to tackle the outside. I forgot about that. This bookshelf kind of fits perfectly on this wall up here. So I'm gonna kind of just fill this up with random stuff. And then I could probably put like a couch or something right there. Maybe like a seating area. I kind of want to find a skill item to put in here as well because I don't have very many of those in the house yet. Oh my goodness. What about this? It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh no, no, no. Okay. I wish we had more than one of these things and I just realized that this is like a digital sound thing, not a gaming machine. I always thought this was like a gaming old school thing. We just got rid of the bookshelf. See you later. No, thank you. We are going to make a gaming room out of this. It's going to be fantastic and I don't know, just kind of fits in with our vibe here for sure. I also deleted the saucer lights. I hate them. I don't like them. We're putting in something new and it's going to be these lights. <laughs> This area over here can be our music area. I'm gonna try and find a little rug that kind of pulls it together, something like that, I guess. And then over here, we're gonna have our gaming station. So I'm trying to find something that matches the color scheme a little bit better. Maybe we can do, I don't know, the yellow one might be our only option. We'll have our sound, digital sound station jukebox thing over here. <laughs> and what should I put here? I don't know. I can kind of see this being like a university house, like a university frat house or something like that. Maybe that's what we're going for here. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of where I'm headed, I think. So for the bedrooms, I think we're gonna have to do just single bedrooms, I guess. Okay, this is kind of what I'm thinking for my bedroom so far. I still need to find some wallpaper, which I, the wallpaper is so difficult. I think I'll just go with like a yellow maybe. We'll try that and then, oh my God, it's so vibrant. Ooh, okay. I kind of want to put a TV up over here so we can probably fit that in there. I'll just kind of mount a smaller one maybe. We can put a coffee table underneath that. I've got my chair. This is definitely one of those really weird builds that you're either gonna love or absolutely hate. <laughs> I kind of don't want to add too much to this room because the rug is so aggressive. So I think I might leave this one. We'll move on to the next. I'm definitely getting like art student vibes from this or something like very creative students that are living here. <laughs> Let's go and do this room. This is a smaller room. So uh, what color palette are we going to go with? Look at this freaking build. It's so weird. <laughs> I kind of feel like the lighting is really important in these kind of builds. Like if you just use the saucer lights, I kind of don't feel like you get the right vibe. I don't really know how to describe it. Like I spend so much time trying to find lighting for these because they just make all of the difference. I don't know. Kind of just trying to find clutter for in here. This one's not my favorite. I like the other room a lot better for sure, but this one still we're getting somewhere. When in doubt, add fairy lights. It makes everything cuter, I promise. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna move on from this bedroom to definitely a very different style of home than we've done in a long time in this home. The last thing we're gonna have to do is the patios and there's so many of them. I've got one here, one down there, and we are gonna have to do a rooftop garden somewhere along the line. So I guess we're gonna get started on that. I think down here to take up the most space, I'm going to do a a bar so let's try and find a really big colorful bar here that we can fit maybe we'll do something like this I don't know if I like this one hold on let's try I don't know this we'll grab some nice red chairs for out here I could maybe do a seating area I've got my barbecue we're probably gonna have to have two seating areas out here because the outdoor space is so big what if we did some of these tiny living high top chairs and tables how about that or there's even a yellow version wait let's do this then we'll have our red or yellow, I guess, barbecue over there. And then I think I'm just gonna put some candles on here or something. Nice green candles on there, perfect. <laughs> and then let's put some plants around our bar so it's not so boring. Maybe I'll just kind of get something big, something to take up a lot of room. We'll put those back there like that. Okay, cute. So we've got our little bar party area out here. Let's put a speaker too. Nice green speakers up there, perfect. Okay, party area right here. Done, let's go upstairs. This can maybe be more of like a chill dining area. So I'll put a couch out here. We can do maybe an actual dining table too. Maybe some loungers. Uh, let's 
with the Sims loungers. Okay, we'll have a couple of these out here. Kind of go like that. Maybe we can put some umbrellas out. Nice big red umbrellas. Oh God. Okay, wait. Or yellow. How about yellow? They are having some parties here for sure because we've got so much space for the whole gang to come and hang. We can kind of go like that for outdoor dining and then I'll put a plant, something really nice and simple out here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, see? We got this. So we've got our barbecue. I'll put an end table right here so it's not so empty. I mean, at this point, we may as well just go gung-ho and just pick all the weird stuff. Cool, okay, this is our outdoor area. Let's do the upstairs garden. I don't really know what to put up here. I mean, hold on. <gasps> we could put a hot tub up here. Let's put a hot tub up here and then the rest will be a garden. <laughs> oh God, this is such a big space. Wait, what about towels? Outdoor garden slash tanning area, maybe? <laughs> we'll just put like some fun stuff up here. We need the green hot tub. Green hot tub can go right in the center over here. This place looks great. It's literally just like party central. I kind of want to put up here instead of the garden because I feel like that just doesn't really fit the vibe here. Let's do a dance floor possibly. Oh yeah, this is definitely the vibe. Look at this. I'm obsessed. Christmas who? Okay, this is all about the dancing, all about the fun. Actually, I think I like this one better. Okay, cool. There we go. That is our... <laughs> Look at this ridiculous home. We started somewhere, we went somewhere completely different. Um, I feel like this is, it's kind of fun to just like let go and do some weird freaking builds and that's what we did today. So let me know what you guys think. I'm obsessed with this room, I don't know what it is. Definitely something different, but we tried our best to match the color palette that we were given. This will be on the gallery under Sydney Macarena if you have some really outrageous sims that you want to download this for. Um, yeah, but that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.